wanted to shoot a quick video uh, up here at the house in Maine and had some uh, some friends over and we only had a little little plastic uh, one of those little plastic there you go one of those things and there's four of us so uh, we were hunting around the property and found a six foot uh, shipping pallet that was holding down a tarp on a pile of lumber and had some reclaimed wood so we made this uh, pretty cool table put the umbrella uh, umbrella pipe in it those are some uh, probably like a three by five on the on the legs I'm not sure the Sun is really in a bad position to film this but I'll try to get it from this side a little bit here you kind of see that it's all reclaimed lumber um, did a little, little detail on the edge put a bunch of coats of uh, the outdoor poly on it to protect it from the from the sun and stuff kind of I don't know if I can do underneath it looks like crap underneath because all it is like I said is a, is a shipping pallet there you go you kind of see <laughs> I mean this was uh, it was just an old crappy shipping pallet the uh, pipe we got a big block of wood there that steadies that where it goes through we can see the nail holes and everything you see it was a quick job I mean it didn't it didn't take us Oops, sorry didn't take us all that long to do, but it come out actually really decent. My friend's uh, wife uh, took the cutoffs and she made some uh, some candle holders for nighttime, little tea light holders that came out really nice. I'll put a little, uh, I got a photograph of that and I'm out here right now. It rained pretty hard last night, so but yeah, come out, uh, come out nice. Got the, uh, that's the umbrella there. I get that uh, mounted over the grill just a little warmer when you're cooking it's on just a couple of these uh, I think they call them like F&M clips or something but you can see them there they're in the gas pipe section but it holds it real steady so I can just slide that out of there and you know when I want to move it over to the over to the table there so yeah that's it it's a reclaimed wood table you could use it uh, if you get those long uh, shipping pallets. You can use the wood right off it, the uh, the top, the pallet wood. This wood is very thin. It's only uh, about a half inch thick. And it's uh, this one's actually yellow pine, I believe. It came from an old factory. I got a whole bunch of it. I'm going to do some accent walls in the house with it and stuff. But uh, this was the rough sawn stuff that I thought I would uh, use on this table. So came out pretty good. Very happy with it. Also, while I'm out here, I figured I'd um, uh, talk about the deck a little. This deck's uh, it's about 33, 34 feet long, only about 12 feet wide because they have to be uh, so many feet from the river. The, uh, the river, I don't know if you can see it, see it out there through the trees or not, but um, we're right on, uh, right on the river here. Trim out some of that later when the house is, is done. But for the, uh, this is just strapping that's holding these, uh, my posts from, uh, so they don't twist and warp in the sun. These will all be cut shorter to, you know, to the right height. But if you want to subscribe, what I'm going to be doing is we're going to do a, uh, using electrical conduit, the galvanized conduit. We're going to make all the, all the railings to go on, around the whole deck. They'll be painted like a flat black. It should be pretty cool. You know, this will obviously be shorter and won't be this high, but it actually serves as a bit of safety as well. But uh, this, the main thing for this to keep the, the strap and will keep those uh, posts from, uh, from twisting in the sun because the, the pressure treated nowadays is, is really kind of junky. It does not stand up well to, uh, to sunlight and heat and stuff. So that's one of the projects we'll be doing um, coming up very soon.